Oh, okay, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't actually do this right now. I usually post twice a week on my, my dispatches, these commentaries that I do, and a lot of stuff in between. And coming this weekend, I'll be doing a lot of Black Panther. Uh, but um, uh, something just broke last night, and that is that the, um, uh, the President of the Republic of South Africa, one Jacob Zuma, has resigned office. Now, he had, uh, the next election for the presidency is, is in two years, well, a year and a half, whatever it is. Uh, so this is like a news. Um, now, I sort of weirdly predicted this uh, uh, about a week, a couple of weeks ago, uh, when uh, the, uh, things went down in Zimbabwe uh, 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 with uh, Robert Mugabe and his successor. Um, and the same thing has happened here, um, is that uh, well, Robert Mugabe uh, will quit, quit, quit his, his thing, a little pressure. Um, uh, Zuma was under pressure too, but he quit his office. But I had also talked about it in another uh, commentary, how uh, he'd be dumb not to just quit rather than oust him because if they ousted him, then he wouldn't get the same benefits, you know, as, as if he just left on his, on his own. So that's come to fruition. Of course, my big fear then would be if this pattern uh, um, continues, something like, say, for instance, in the United States, um, where um, if, if, if Donald Trump resigns, uh, what will happen, we'll have Pence, which is like a catastrophe in, in my book, but I won't get into that right now. Anyway, back to the point. So, so uh, uh, Jacob Zuma uh, resigned under a, a lot of pressure. There's a thing about state capture, uh, state capture when people are both inside the government and outside of the government. Uh, there's this whole uh, thing, uh, really, uh, I don't want to say state capture, but, but there's, there's this whole thing about uh, well, I don't know how this is going to work out because when this happened last, in other words, when the, a, the political party ANC, um, uh, they had this, uh, this situation where they forced a, a president of the country, who was also the way they work in the political party president, then you had the country president, political party president, at the time it was Tavo Becky, and he was also the country president. president and he got forced out right before an, an, an election, and, and they had to put uh, McClante, uh, Helen McClante, in as, as president, just as a holding place, uh, so that, because they, they knew they wanted Jacob Zuma in, that they being the political party. So anyway, so, so, so all that stuff, so I don't know who's, how are we going to handle this, because in a weird, weird sort of way, uh, uh, Sarah Ron Pose is supposed to be doing the presidential thing, but then again, he's going to be running for president. I don't know how to... I just don't know how it works in South Africa. Um, uh, so, so that's on the table. And then, of, of course, you have this whole uh, thing about, well, uh, what are you going to do with this, with this president as he resigns? What, is he liable for all of this intrigue that he's caused in terms of, of, uh, of, of, of well, quite frankly, state capture? Now, now, the way I look at it, uh, is is like um, this whole thing started with what we call Gadessa One. All these things don't start right; just right at the point you you, you identified. How how does a lot a lot uh, uh, way before what's going on? With Gadessa One is a, a movement basically it created a black middle class. You know, before there wasn't there any Rand heirs. I call them Rand heirs, billionaires, billionaires, whatever Rand heirs. Uh, but with, with Gadessa, it created a middle class, and then that and then a lot of the people those destroyed are called struggle people. Uh, they uh, they became ran heirs. Uh, Jacob Zuma wasn't one of those people in that in that initial group, uh, though he's made up for it. Many <laughs> he's made up for it uh, uh, beyond that. But uh, so that's that's the factor uh, that I look at. Uh, so anyway, oh, so so we have a situation here where. Um, a lot of political entry people push things to the edge, and then we'll we'll see how this all, as I say, shakes out. But the, the hero of all of this, if you want to call him a hero, is actually uh, Julius Malema, uh, because when this whole thing actually started, if you want to look at it, when uh, they kicked Julius Malema out of the uh, of the ANC Youth League, they effectively kicked him out of the party, and he's based, I don't want to say he's got his revenge, but because of that, he became a voice. Well, let's, a voice for, for the left, let's put it that way. When there's a party and the, the government is really more, going more towards this neoliberal, this, this right kind of this right kind of push. But well, when, when they kicked Malema out and he started, you know, going at them, you know, from from from, from, from the, I won't say he didn't have a bullet but coming out from someplace, from the left, right, wherever coming, they reacted to that. And he his voice was strong enough 
and they trade as part of the economic freedom fighters, which I don't really know their economic program. Anyway, economic freedom, that became like the, it, it's not really an opposition party to me, it's, it's just keep on uh, needling these folks. And they reacted to that. And because of that reaction, it saved South Africa from going fully right turn, like, like say the states are going, you know what I mean? It sort of pulled them back, you know? And, and because of that, uh, you have the situation, but it kept on being pulled out. Then all this other intrigue that happens with these countries where you where you have an absolute, uh, I won't say dictate, but an absolutist, you know, I do it my way or the highway kind of thing. What happens with thing? Just, yeah, just what happens. So, so we can. Uh, so I, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Malema props. You know, what I mean, uh, you'll see how this all thing shakes out. He's a very smart politician, if you will. So, anyway, that's it. Big news, uh, the president of the Republic of South Africa, when uh, uh, Jacob Zuma, he, he evaporated. <sighs> Waiting for the next, the next political intrigue to happen. Um, the, an intrigue that uh, we will be monitoring co closely. No, not closely, we will be monitoring, we being me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.